When the Ampulex Compressa approaches a cockroach and injects its venom, its intention isn't to kill. In fact, killing isn't part of its plan at all. So why does it do this? It specifically targets certain parts of the cockroach's brain to deactivate them. This is because the wasp requires the cockroach alive, which it later drags to its nest. Welcome to the Wild World Channel. Today we're exploring the Ampulex Compressa, an insect capable of turning its prey into obedient zombies. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Let's dive in. The Ampulex Compressa relies on other living creatures to reproduce. There are over a hundred species of wasps worldwide exhibiting similar behaviors. Caterpillars, ants, and spiders, for instance, can all fall victim. However, Ampulex Compressa specifically target cockroaches. And there's a reason for this. Cockroaches are extremely resilient, making them ideal hosts for the wasp's offspring. Given that the cockroach is larger than the wasp, the latter must be very strategic in its approach. The wasp waits for the perfect moment and injects its venom directly into specific parts of the cockroach's brain, particularly the areas responsible for the survival instinct. Once these parts are deactivated, the cockroach becomes passive, not attempting to escape or resist. It essentially becomes compliant to the wasp's will. The venom takes about 20, 30 minutes to fully take effect. After this period, the wasp approaches the cockroach, breaks an antenna, and tastes its blood. This action is believed to be a way for the wasp to ensure it has administered the right amount of venom. Too little, and the cockroach might recover too soon. Too much, and it could die. Once satisfied, the wasp then leads its incapacitated prey back to its nest. The cockroach's fate is now sealed. All that's left is for the wasp to attach its larva to the cockroach's abdomen. But what happens once the venom's effect wears off? The wasp doesn't care. The larva takes about seven days to hatch, and the venom's effects last for around 10 days. Is there any defense for the cockroach against the wasp's attack? Yes, it can, for instance, swiftly turn and hit the wasp on its head with its legs. About five such strikes are typically enough to deter the wasp. Or just before the wasp stings, the cockroach can make a sudden move to knock off its attacker or simply run away. However, once the venom is in its system, these defense mechanisms become futile. So, what's in this venom that incapacitates the cockroach? It targets specific neurons responsible for the survival instinct. When these neurons are active, the cockroach senses danger and tries to evade threats. Initially, the wasp stings the cockroach in the thorax, temporarily paralyzing its front limbs, making escape or resistance impossible. The venom injected into the brain contains compounds similar to dopamine, inducing a trance-like state in the cockroach. In this state, the insect loses all sense of fear and willingly follows the wasp, eventually allowing a larva to be attached without resistance. It's fascinating how the Ampulex Compressa has mastered this art of manipulation over evolutionary time. This kind of mind control isn't unique to the Ampulex Compressa, though. Nature offers several other examples of parasites manipulating their hosts. The Cordyceps fungus, for instance, infects ants, taking over their nervous systems and driving them to climb vegetation before the fungus erupts from their heads. Research into the venom of the Ampulex Compressa offers valuable insights. Scientists are intrigued by its potential in neurology and even psychology, given its capacity to target specific brain functions. A better understanding of this venom's components could open new doors to addressing neurological disorders or creating innovative pain management techniques. Interestingly, there are around 130 other wasp species that employ similar tactics. They too incapacitate their prey with venom and use them for reproductive purposes. It's fascinating how even insects have understood that the brain, a complex network of neurons, can be manipulated. And this applies whether the brain belongs to a simple insect or a sophisticated human. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and leave your comments below. Perhaps there's something I missed. Remember to subscribe to our channel and activate notifications. See you soon.